Hey, it's Joe Glines, and earlier today I was on a call with both Maestrieth and Raptor X, and we were actually working through using C Sharp for some GUIs, and it, it came upon where Maestrieth said something, and Raptor X said, Hey, you know what? Joe and I were trying to solve this problem, and we're wondering if you have any ideas, because, you know, we, we were working on it, and we kind of think we might have some solutions, but where him and I were going was pretty complex, and in a second, Maestrieth came up with the simplest, easiest solution. And uh, anyway, I think it's a good video to help you remember to think outside the box, right? It's easy when you have your goal and you think you could, should achieve it this way. And not to, you know, when someone else just goes, well, why don't you just do this, right? And his solution was so simple and easy. And we should have thought of it. But we, we, were, we were down a rabbit hole and we were just thinking about the different ways we would do it. And uh, his solution just negated the whole need to do anything crazy. So, hope you enjoy this video. We don't get in deep into the program, and we do talk about some of it. But again, it's just a fun discussion. You can hear our our um, surprise and appreciation when he came up with such an, an easy solution. And make sure if you had any aha moments like that, where you you were doing something and you realized, oh my God, it's this is so much easier. Write it in the comments because I'd love to hear about it. It's always fun to hear these kind of things with people. Or let me know if you're up for getting on a Zoom meeting and we'll do a chat and discuss it. Cheers. Actually, now that you're talking about that, hold on. We had a very interesting question. Maybe you have an idea about that. So we wanted to see if there's a way for us to connect to a script that is running and disable one hotkey from that script. Have you ever tried that? Um... <laughs> I would easily, what I would do the easiest way is just grab the HWND of that running process. Right. And then just create a hotkey on that process. That's the idea. So, so hold on. When you say create a hotkey on that process, how, what do you mean by that? All right. So which is, which is the part, because if I can create a hotkey on a process, on a specific running out of hotkey script, then I could disable a hotkey because I would say I would set that hotkey to be blank or whatever. Right. Yeah. You just yeah. put it, um, just point it to a dead end and. Right. And exactly. Not. Now, now, what I have never done is actually set up a hotkey on a running script. Well, that's something that I, I do not know. Is there a GUI for this running script? Not exactly because it, 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 it would be different. For example, my script is going to read the already existing scripts. Uh -huh. And I can do that, right? So I can do that. Sure. So the only thing is that I do not know. Uh, it could be with a GUI. What I do know is that all scripts have a hidden window, all of them. Well, yeah, they also have a process ID that you can get as yes, well. Yes, yeah, I, I get the process ID. Now, the question is, how can I set up a hotkey on a running script? That's the question right, that I have so never done that. What you would do is you would just say hotkey if I would say if when active and then the HK PID of the PID. Oh, I get what you mean. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yes. Wow. So simple. That's what oh. I, I would say. <laughs> Let me make sure yeah. the, 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 the kids on the short bus are understanding what you just said. So basically, <laughs> instead of trying to go to that script and run, script and you do it, it within yeah. here and say when that window is active, you know, is it active? Yeah, I, I, you're yeah, creating I, that I'm in the local. The hotkey, yeah. yeah. Yes. Got yes. It. Yeah. Yeah. That's, and I'm like, why, why didn't right. we think of that? Right. 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 That's brilliant. Right. <laughs> like, because you're not we... a simpleton like me. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. That's funny. It's yeah, totally... it's true, because, because... Right. No, no, no. I'm telling you, sometimes, sometimes, sometimes no. the simplest solution is the best solution. Right. But the problem is that sometimes, as, as I think in a different way, we were like, I, 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 uh -huh, yeah. said, we, 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 we look for a very sophisticated solution. We were talking about what? Um, sending a message or sending a message or actually, you know, doing those kind of things. Like, yeah, you could just simply create a hotkey right. that the is. Right. Yeah, it's just creating yeah. a, a, a hotkey when that window is available. But the here's the problem. Problem. Yeah. Now, now here's the here's the issue where where this would run into an issue. What happens if I have a script that does not have a GUI? So, for example, um, and the spell check script, Joe, that you have, you have a spell check. But I thought uh, you script. said a minute ago every script has a gu hidden GUI. No, it has a PID, which is oh yeah. Sorry, I'm sorry. It's the PID, and this is what he was just showing me. Yeah, I'm sorry. I would make the um, 
the condition not on the window title, but on the script handle, which is possible to do. Yeah. Cool. And you should yeah, be yeah. able to get that directly from... Uh... From the script. I already have it. So our script already grabs all the handles. I have, a, I have an object that has all the handles. I just have oh, to... Oh, good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah so... those handles and overwrite them. Yeah, yeah. I was, I was just not thinking. I, as I usually do not create hotkeys that are uh, conditional on PIDs, that solution didn't came to mind. But it is right. possible, right? Oh, that's awesome. I don't either. I never use PIDs for anything. Yeah, that's the <laughs> I mean, thing. Unless it's I not... absolutely have to. Right, 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 right. But you see, Joe, that's the reason why it's good to just ask somebody. Absolutely. I don't know if you're going to know, but <laughs> yeah, but you know. <laughs> that's it. That's cool. I like that. Hey, if you just watched that video and you felt it was a bit over your head, I would recommend reach out to us at joe at theautomator.com and we offer consulting services where we will help educate you and work with you to level you up. To me, it's best ways that you can start learning auto hockey and make really significant jumps is having someone assess where you are and then kind of nudge you a little bit higher and higher um, and get your code worked on by someone who's been doing it for a long time.